today's video, we're going to put ourselves into a billboard. First thing we've got to do is get a picture of the subject of ourselves. I've downloaded this picture of this model. That's cool. And I'm just going to go select all and copy and go to the billboard picture, which I've also downloaded free off the internet. And this one, I'm not too sure exactly where it is, but it's in a nice location. Um, now we're just going to go paste. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to automatically transform the picture that we've got here. So what we're going to do, we're just going to put her in there, in where those people are. So the trick is, what we've got, I'll turn this off so you can see it. We're on a bit of an angle here. So what we're going to be doing, we're going to be doing some transforming and we're going to put it on an angle and everything else. And then we're going to change the opacity and change the, the tones and etc. just to make it so it matches. So as you can see at the moment, it is quite dull, but we'll fix it up later on. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take the opacity on the layer. I'm just going to bring it down a bit. I'll just zoom in a little bit more so you can see what we're doing here. I'm just going to move her around so that her head is in the picture. I'm not going to raise too much for her hands. Um, that should be good enough. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to make it smaller. So I'm just going to get the rectangular marquee tool. I'm just going to go outside the actual background, what we're going to do here, and I'm just going to get that, and I'm just going to mask that. I'm going to hit mask, which is on the bottom there. Now that it's a masked layer, I can do what I want with it. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put the opacity back up. I'm going to right click the layer, convert to smart object, and then convert to rasterized layer. Now I can basically do whatever I want on that size. Okay, so I'm not going to lose any quality of the actual photo doing it that way. All right, now I'll put the opacity back down a bit and put it there. Now because it's on a, a, a circular circle, a radius here, we're going to manipulate the image so that it actually it's in. So I put the opacity up a little bit so that you can see both images here. So what we're going to do, while it's selected transformation, just with the move tool, I'm just going to go up to edit, transform, and distort. Now with the distort, you can, you can do whatever you want with it. It actually distorts the whole entire image. So we might just put it a little bit further outside the square that we're going to put it in, like that. And this one, like that. don't worry about that, we'll fix that up later. And this one, where is it? There it is, there. So we're just still outside the actual image graph bit, still outside. All right, now you put the opacity up, it looks a bit dodgy. See how these people are on a bit of a curve? Now what we're going to have to do, we're going to have to manipulate it so it's actually on a curve. We're going to go to Warp, go to Edit, Transform, and Warp. Now what we can do, click in the middle, and you can just do things like this. You can actually warp it like that, so it's actually on a curve. That's what we want. Right. Don't worry about the background because it's all one colour and that, that'll be gone very soon. Now, what we're going to do, turn, I'll, I'll leave, let's turn that layer on. Now, I'm going to use the pen tool on the left hand side here, pen tool. But before we use the pen tool, I'm just going to take the, the opacity and bring it down. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm just going, while well, I've still got it to click in layer, on the layer, click inside that little white line, and then I click another point. Now, in between there, with the pen tool, you've got that blue line. 
I'm going to click in the middle, hold down the Command key on a Mac, and then I can move it up like this into position, like that. Now because I started there and I finished there, wherever I click next will be a continuation of where I finished. From there, I'm going to come straight down to there. Oh, that's not good because see, you can still see the light behind it. I'll redo that. Just there, that's what I want. Now, I'm going to click on there. I'm going to do the same thing in the bottom here. Click on the middle. Hold down the command key. And I can maneuver it like that. And while I've got the command key clicked, I can maneuver at any point I like at this stage. So as soon as I let go of the command key, it'll just go to default. All right, and I'll go back up to the original one. Now I'm going to right click the blue, make a selection. Now, because I want this a sharp image, sharp edges, the radius will be zero. Click OK, and then I will mask that. So, on the right hand side here, mask. So, what that's done, it's masked the outline on the background. So, I'm just going to put the opacity back up. Uh, we had a bit of a mistake there, but that's okay. I'll do the mask. Oh, there it is. <clears throat> the move tool. Hold down the command key. And I'm just going to increase that a little bit. Not the command key. What am I doing with the command key? Um, hold down the shift key. And that's where we are. Yeah, that's where we want. Now, I'm going to convert that layer to a smart layer. But before I do that, I'm just going to make sure that these edges are right. It looks good already like that, so we're going to leave it like that. So I'm going to right click the layer, convert to smart object, right click it again, and rasterize layer. Now I'm just going to click on that, but before I click on it, I'm going to hold down the command key. To select it. Okay, I'm going to go to another layer. Make sure I've got that selected. Got new layer and see it's already selected. I'm going to hit the fill button or you can just go to new fill layer. Okay, so that's good. That's what I want. Hit enter. Yeah, it's cool. Hit any selection tool. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to change the blend mode down to color. And straight away, it does an awesome job turning it into black and white. But that's not what we want. So I'm going to get the opacity and I'm going to bring the opacity down. So what that's done now, let me just brought it down to 40%, 41. If I turn it off, see it's very colorful, turn it down, it's got that dull look to it. That's what we want because it's not too full on here. So I click that layer, I'm going to hold down the command key and click the next layer. Now I'm going to hit G. The letter G has converted it into a group. I'm going to right click the group and I'm going to go merge group. So now those two photo, those two layers are together in the one layer. Okay. I can still move it around, do what I want with it. There's no problems at all. Now, what I'm going to do to make it so it really blends in, I'm going to go up to Image, Adjustments, and Exposure. Um, and what I'll do first, I'll, I'll just I'll zoom in so we get a bit more of a look at what we're doing here. So what I'm going to do, I'm trying to keep all the other people in the background and everything else there similar, or alternatively, you can just move it around so it matches this type of look. look. So we'll do with that. We'll go for that. But to image, adjustments, exposure. Now I'm going to turn the offset up a bit, which will dull it a bit. Gamma correction, turn that up. Exposure, I'll turn that up. Okay. Now we want hues and saturations. Image, adjustments, hue and saturation. Now, with this one, I'm just going to go saturation. I'm going to turn it up. That looks good. 
in our gap to image adjustments contrast and we'll put contrast up that looks good all right now I'll put it back into position that's supposed to be I'll just nudge it because it's just not exactly in the position where it should be and that's good enough for me that looks good all right so that's how <clears throat> you put yourself into a billboard thanks for watching guys